Hello, in this video I would like to tell about contacts in Contact Builder in Marketing Cloud. So what is a contact? Uh, a contact is a data record that contains contact information like email address or phone number and to which other relevant data may be related like personal details, demographic information or behavioral data. Contact ideally represents a person, uh, a single person, although there may be situations where you may actually end up having several contacts that represent the same person. For instance, there might be a situation where you have one person who has several email addresses created as two separate contacts. However, one of the advantages of Contact Builder is that it can help you build a single view of your customer. So ideally, your contacts represent persons one-to-one. -one. This means you need to connect different pieces of contact information like email address coming from email data and mobile number coming from mobile connect data to a singular person. It is the best practice to use a unique identifier to define your contact uh, in Contact Builder. So to create a certain contact key. What is also possible to do is to actually create manually contacts in Contact Builder. So how to do this? So you need to go to the data extension and first you need to create or already have a data extension. So for instance, we're going to create a data extension on the fly and set attributes for this data extension like first name and contact key and email where we're going to choose email address as the field and we're going to choose contact key as a primary key here and complete. So now let's go to this data extension that we have just created. Select records. And here we are given the opportunity to add records. So here we can manually create a um, contact. For instance, Alina and the contact key would be unique ID 001 and email would be test at test.com and save. So why would you need this? Imagine that uh, you need to test an email for a future campaign and you would like to send a test email to a test contact. So ideally, uh, you would use uh, this opportunity of manual contact creation since it doesn't take a lot of time and it's a quick way to create fake contacts that can be later used for various tests. So that's it for today's uh, video. Hope you like it. And uh, if you're looking for more SFMC best practices, subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you for watching.